said, it was an awesome seminar for the NPC, and then everyone trained after. Uh, Chris Stone, oh, not owner of the gym, was nice enough to let everyone have a free day pass, so. Everybody was training chests or arms today, and we're the only people training legs. Yeah. A little bit of a jungle in there, but like he touched down, we were training legs, so it wasn't really a wait for anything. No one wants to train legs, right? Who does that? Fitness Center uh, for the MPC workshop, kind of like one of the stage ready ones where uh, you know all the promoters in the area really take time out of their schedules to come and tell you how to compete, what to expect, and break out into groups. Uh, really good event for like you know like anyone from the first time they've ever competed to someone that's done it a bunch. I always like coming to these even though I've done it before, so it's always good seeing all the people. A lot of the Houston fitness people's come out for them. Event, awesome gym, first time I've been here. Uh, Chris Stone, the MPC expediter, probably anyone that's ever competed in Texas has met Chris, or at least seen him before. Awesome guy, so this is his gym. Checking it out for the first time, love it. Can't wait to train uh, hamstrings in a little bit. Hey! What did it do? Most people have been asking about you today. What's going on, man? Right. How are you doing, man? Good, you? Good, good. good. Tell me I'm doing. Hey, Brian. That's me, Brian. That's me, yeah. Dirty Harry, don't get shit on Brian. <laughs> Do y'all sampled a lot of stuff out yet or not really? No, because we're waiting for them to get out. Oh, so like once it breaks? Yes, yeah, so we just started pouring them out. When did they, they say go? that it was going to end? Did they give you like a so guesstimate? They told me 11 too. Like, yeah, I'm going to eat and train. Have you ever been to his restaurant before? Uh, the guy who owns this place, his name's Kevin Rios, and then Chris Stone, the guy with the beard. Chris Stone, yeah. Yeah, he owns like a really nice like Italian restaurant slash yeah. steakhouse a couple miles from here. Mm -hmm. This is 14 ounces of white rice. Carb sources right now are oatmeal, white rice, and then like red potatoes. That's pretty much all I'm eating for carbs, uh, food-wise, and then carbolin after I train. Right now, uh, it, you know, 15, 14 weeks out, uh, carbs are sitting like around 600 grams right now, and uh, actually getting leaner, which is kind of cool. Basically, just kind of cut out all of the gnarlier food and like actually pushing more food in terms of like. Grams of protein and uh, grams of carbs than I was eating in the off season actually. It's just all from clean food, so feeling good. Hardest part about it right now is eating all the food, so we'll see how long that lasts. I know it won't. Like towards the end, whenever I'm really starving, I'll start like using some like peppers and vegetables and onions and stuff like that just to make the food. You know, it tastes better and then have a little bit more volume, keep me full a little longer too. Yeah, right now I eat all of it super plain just so it's easy to get down. That's my main concern. Grams of protein a day is gonna create some kind of, of gastric distress, but nothing terrible. She still lives with me. We've survived. So far. So far. Hey, how are you? Like I always take it as an opportunity to network with the people that you know help me out, or you know can we can like mutually benefit each other in some way, shape, or form. You know, a lot of the uh, show promoters are here, so like guest posings and stuff like that, video content, stuff like that. So it's good seeing everyone and just catching up. Doing something soon, aren't you? Uh, universe. Universe. Yeah. You all make it work very well doing it together. Not everyone can do that. Here at Kinetics Fitness, about to train uh, hamstrings, calves, leg biceps. But um, I guess just kind of wanted to go through before and kind of tell you the general thought process behind it. Because when we get done, we like, <gasps> and we can't really talk really that well. So um, I guess like all of our leg training always starts with calves. We'll always do, you know, like four or five sets of standing, four or five sets of seated. Um, 
start with calves because we're too damn tired to do them after and we wanted to make them a good body part so we prioritized and train them twice a week and before everything else. They don't take a ton of energy, it's a good way to get warmed up and in the zone so that's why we do them first. But uh, after that, um, what are we doing today? I'm going to try all the machines that we don't have and uh, for me, hamstrings is a focus because I need to bring them up. I just want to look like Tom Prince. To be honest. Yeah. <laughs> look like you have a football hanging for a hamstring yeah. in your side poses. Yeah. There's days in between training back and training hamstrings or any other leg day. So we can hit it as hard as we can, just like back. After that, like, I don't know, we'll kind of pick the exercises on the fly probably, but your hamstring's responsible for two things. It's a, knee it's a knee extensor and then uh, it pulls your hips forward, so then some kind of hamstring curl in addition to the uh, seated one, whether it's I saw a standing curl here that looks cool or like a laying, so whatever we find. Um, usually always do glute ham on hamstring day two. I think that's a huge one for a hamstring and really your whole posterior chain development is glute ham. You know, I started training with him and he started making me do him because I never really did him consistently because I kicked my ass and you know, adding him in for the last over a year now I feel like it's made a big difference. I always joke with him because I normally train with Bree on Saturdays when we do hamstrings and I'll see him like on the gym on Monday he's like, I PR'd on glute ham today. And so, I don't know, it's a great exercise for, uh, for hamstrings in my opinion, so we'll do those too. And, uh, hitting hamstrings here at Kinetics Fitness. Um, Did all the hamstrings? All the hamstrings. Today is uh, 14 weeks up for me, 18 for him. So I'm officially two weeks into it because we always like to take 16 weeks to prep. He's pretty much on prep now that I've started this. So it is what it is. Um, yeah, so obviously we're just starting these now. But we've been training for the last like obviously year, just trying to improve and stuff. So. It's really fun uh, getting to the point where it's time to uh, strip away all the body fat and show off how hard we've been working for the last year. It's pretty cool. We both made a ton of gains. Especially in the areas we needed it, so it'll be cool. Cool, cool next 14 weeks for sure. I'm really looking forward to it. So we didn't have to wait for anything, which is great. And we got to use a bunch of machines that we're not used to using, like standing leg curl. We don't have a seated leg curl at our gym either. So that was very cool. So right now, um, my coach, Andrew Vu up in Dallas, he's got me doing uh, 50 grams of isolate and 150 grams of carb limb post-workout. And then uh, eating again about an hour and a half after that, uh, 11 ounces of rice and 8 ounces of turkey. So that's just on the post-workout shake. Um, I really like the carb one just because, believe it or not, my appetite kind of sucks. So anything I can drink is usually a huge help. So huge fan of my post-workout shake. Uh, get this done. About to get out of here, head home. Got to let the dogs out and enjoy the weekend. Catch up with y'all tomorrow at Legacy Barbell. Gonna hit a little touch up back and then some bicep. So, catch up with y'all there.